In today's fast-paced business environment, companies generate a vast amount of data, which holds significant value if it is properly managed, visualized, and utilized to enhance decision-making processes. Often, this data is spread across various software systems, each housing distinct portions that are isolated within platforms incapable of intercommunication, thereby complicating efforts to achieve a comprehensive view. For example, a corporation might have separate databases for customer services, enterprise management, and marketing platforms platforms among others. Palantir specializes in integrating data from these diverse platforms into a unified system and extracting actionable insights from the consolidated information. This capability is a key reason for the high demand for Palantir services. Consider a scenario where a wholesale supplier is confronted with a severe weather event impacting one of its centers. The management team needs to determine the most efficient alternative methods to ensure continuous customer supply and understand the impact of their decisions on profit margins. Alternatively, an inventory manager might need to assess the effect of a price adjustment on a product demand or seek to automate payment processing to suppliers by consolidating documents like purchase orders, invoices, and warehouse receipts. These are precisely the kinds of challenges Palantir's artificial intelligence platform, AIP, is designed to address. AIP leverages large language models to enable clients to pose complex questions in plain English and receive actionable responses. Selling such an intricate platform can be challenging. While examining use cases from other companies can be informative, visualizing the specific application of a platform like AIP within a unique business context remains difficult. To address this, Palantir conducts boot camps where potential customers can develop use cases tailored to their businesses within days. These boot camps have proven highly effective in expanding Palantir's customer base, particularly in the United States, where the company's commercial customer count has surged. In the first quarter, this growth translated to a year-over-year -year increase of over 40% in U.S. commercial sales, reaching $150 million and a 27% rise in worldwide commercial sales, totaling $299 million. Government revenue grew at a slower pace of 16%, amounting to $335 million. Penetrating the commercial market is crucial for Palantir's long-term success. Total sales in quarter one rose 21% year over year to $634 million, with Palantir also improving its profitability. However, not all investors are convinced. Palantir enjoys a strong following among retail investors and has sparked lively debates between its supporters and detractors over the years. The company is systematically addressing many of the criticisms from its detractors. For instance, the issue of persistent unprofitability was a valid concern as the company incurred annual losses until 2023 when it achieved profitability. Palantir has reported net profits for the last six quarters and significantly boosted its operating profits. Additionally, critics have pointed out the company's heavy reliance on stock-based compensation to reward employees with a substantial portion of such distributions typically allocated to top executives. Issuing a large number of new shares for compensation dilutes existing shareholders' stakes. However, Palantir has been reducing its stock-based compensation as its revenue has increased. Using stock-based compensation also allows companies to conserve cash. Palantir concluded the first quarter with $3.9 billion in cash and investments and no long-term debt. Another reason some investors remain skeptical about Palantir is its high valuation. The stock trades at nearly 25 times current sales, a lower price-to-sales ratio compared to CrowdStrike but higher than Snowflake, both of which are high-growth software companies with market capitalizations below $100 billion. The stock is also trading above its historical average valuation. Nevertheless, Palantir stands out as the most profitable among these three tech companies. Over the past four reported quarters, Palantir generated nearly $200 million in in operating profits compared to $24 million for CrowdStrike and a loss of $1.2 billion for Snowflake. Investors considering Palantir stock should adopt a patient approach, gradually and regularly building their stake to take advantage of potential price dips. A dollar-cost averaging strategy can mitigate short-term risks when investing in high-priced stocks. Palantir has firmly established itself as a leader in data and artificial intelligence management. Despite its high valuation, the company's growing profits and strong financial position indicate its potential for long-term success. In the end, companies generate valuable data that is often scattered across different systems, making comprehensive analysis challenging. Palantir's specialty is integrating and analyzing this data to provide actionable insights making its services highly sought after. The company's artificial intelligence platform, AIP, helps businesses address complex challenges by leveraging large language models. 
Palantir's innovative boot camps have significantly boosted its U.S. commercial customer base, leading to substantial growth in sales and profitability. While the company faces skepticism over its valuation and past unprofitability, it has made strides in addressing these issues and stands out as a profitable leader in the tech industry. Investors are advised to adopt a patient, gradual investment strategy to mitigate risks associated with high stock prices. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.